Also, Peyton is in the shower and she's singing. Listen to her. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Good morning. Look how cute these little girls look. I'm loving the jean shorts with their little flip flops. So stinking cute. And what is today? What is that? So Peyton has crazy or silly hat day. So she's wearing these cute little Disney hat uh, ears. Because um, I don't have, I have any, I have some hats, but they're all small. I think that looks really cute. And I see you're wearing your little red necklace again. <laughs> so look how cute. Give us a thumbs up for Peyton's silly hat day. Good morning, guys. I'm about to head out to work, so I wanted to say hello real quick. We're all just hanging out as a family this morning, and I'm going to be gone all day. So it's going to be a long day. So I'm going to catch up, uh, catch up with you guys later on. And hope mommy has a good day today. Don't go. <laughs> Kids, you're going to be good for mommy, right? Yeah. All day while daddy's gone? Well, I'm going to be at school. I know. Are you going to be good for your teacher? <laughs> yeah. All right. Harper, are you going to be good for mommy while I'm gone? Yeah. You sure? Okay. I'm going to ask when I get home, were you good for mommy? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Look at she that smile. smile. We're gonna we're gonna nickname we nicknamed Harper Bubbles. I think we're gonna nickname you Bubbles because you're always so bubbly. All right, guys, we just got back from the store, and I just thought I'd show you what I got at the store today. Nothing crazy, just a few things. We got some bananas, some laundry detergent. I have like so much like cleaning that I want to do before the baby comes. I want to wash everyone's bedspreads and sheets and make sure everything's really fresh which I actually just washed our bed like our all of our bedding last week and the girls half of their bedding I still have to wash the other parts but I just ran out of laundry soap so we got some laundry soap and we got some grapes and sometimes the grapes are like really mushy, but this time we found some like really hard crunchy ones, which those are the best. And I go back and forth with like green and red, and sometimes when they're on sale, we'll buy like both co both colors, but anyways. And then Presley, she loves raspberries. She would probably eat the whole entire container if I let her. And then tonight we're having some spaghetti, so I got some hamburger meat, and Presley picked out the angel hair pasta. And then we're just going to do the five cheese pasta sauce. And we got some ketchup. Everyone loves ketchup in the house. And then some almond milk. We don't drink regular milk. We never have. And I, I think Harper has tried regular milk like on accident like once. But yeah, besides that, we don't really eat oh, too much dairy besides Keith. He loves cheese and all that. And like sometimes we'll buy cheese at the store. But I don't know, I'm not really like a big fan of dairy and it just makes me feel like blah, so. Anyways, my favorite thing that I found at the store today was this aloe plant, look how cute this is. And it already came in like this little pot. <laughs> look how cute that is. And you can use aloe for so many different things. I've been doing a lot of research and I really like natural medicine and stuff like that. If I go to school in my future life, I would love to study, I can't think of the word, like natural medicine and like Chinese healing. Like I, I am so into that. I really, really like that kind of stuff. But anyways, got this aloe plant and I was going to put it in the girls' bathroom because I think it really matches like their decor, but it says it needs bright light. So I think I might put it in the kitchen somewhere because there's more light in here than there is upstairs because there's just like... A window and then where I wanted to put it was like on their vanity and you don't really get like a lot of sunlight there so 
Anyways, that is what I got at the grocery store. Also, if you guys haven't seen Peyton's little school morning routine, it was the cutest thing ever. Her and Keith did it together. Um, I'll have Keith like link it in one of the I cards. I don't know which side it comes up, but one of those sides, <laughs> you can go watch it. She was so excited to do that. It was super cute. And a lot of you have been asking why Peyton is still in school. So here in North Carolina, they have traditional school, which is like, regular school that you're used to with like a 12 or whatever week summer break i think i don't know i'm not really sure but you have like june july and august off or whatever so we have traditional school and then we have year-round school and the district that we're in peyton has to attend year-round and when we first moved here i was kind of skeptical about it i didn't really understand the idea but it's for the kids you know to like obtain knowledge and like retain all that information so they go for nine weeks then they have three weeks off but depending on when the break falls it could be like four weeks or five weeks like during christmas time they have like the regular two week christmas break and then the way her schedule is she has like an additional three weeks off. It allows families who travel a lot to actually go on off peak time. So she'll have like the whole month of July off, which is nice. And then I think she has like October off and April and December. I'm not really sure like how the schedule is, but there's like four different schedules that they follow and they're, they're called tracks. So when she isn't in school, you probably heard her say that she's tracking out and that's just the break that she has. So anyways, she does go to year-round school. It's a little bit different, but we like it and she enjoys it. What are you girls doing over here? Pretending like, and, and this is my card. That's your card? Are you having a picnic? I colored this. Ooh, what is it? Let me see. What's on it? Mine is not a On the back is a, and on the front is letters. Oh, what people is it? Let me see. <laughs> Look at that cute little face. <laughs> Harper draws the cutest little people. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cute. Are you cooking up something for your picnic over here? I'm putting some like, just like these. Do you know what that stuff is called? Um, this is a cucumber. Yep, that's right. And this is an avocado. That's right. And this is a... Might be tricky. I know. What? It's a... It's an onion. It's an onion. Yucky, I don't like onions. Do you like onions? No. <laughs> I don't like onions. What's, what's in the little green container right there? Potato. Tomato. Peppers. Good job. So you're going to have a healthy picnic, it looks like. Mm -hmm. And there's the money and the hot. Yeah? And Are you going to go, did you go shopping for all that food for your picnic? And this is also and lettuce. That's and right. Cream. And you bought everything? Uh-huh. Yeah. I bought some money and some pods. Oh. Cool. Peyton, so how was Crazy Hat Day today? Amazing. Yeah? Good. What else did you guys do at school today? Um, we did, we had outdoor recess. You did? Uh-huh. That's pretty cool. And yesterday I didn't finish these, but I'm making fire versus ice. Ooh. I did not finish ice or fire. That's pretty cool. I just did ice's hair. So fire's mad and ice is happy? Yeah, <laughs> or sad. <laughs> that was mad. Yeah. Why didn't you do the nose? And let's see, put all your bracelets together. I made the girls little sister bracelets. And we even made Hannah one that we're gonna put on after she's born. Look how cute. Let's see. I just braided like three little strings together, and I actually just used the string from the hair wrap kit that we got, but I'm so excited, look how cute they are. So 
they're all gonna have like little sister bracelets or big sister and sister bracelets. So I just finished draw, I mean, yeah, drawing and cutting out the fire and ice girls and this is how they turned out. Here's fire girl. There's her head and those lines are her hands and if you're wondering what that is, that's the fire and ice girl. Here's ice girl. So she has, she's all blue except the hair. And I did this little blue hair tie. And on the other one I just, I did the same thing. And the blue lines are also the hands and that's fire. And I did like little snowflakes on her dress and pants and some shoes. And that one has braids in her hair. This one has like hair that's like curly. And I did on this one, it's like magenta. Face, eyes, and this one is blue. And at first, yesterday I was doing this assessment and I did not have that time for re that much time for recess. So I just got to like draw the heads. And on the fire girl, I only I only got to draw um, the face and the hair. But I'm all finished with them, but now I don't know what to do. Maybe I'm gonna make some accessories. I'm thinking of making a snowflake for Ice Girl to put in her fair hair. And I'm gonna do like a little fire for the fire girl. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Mom traced Harper's hand. Look how cute that looks. And it's her one of her favorite colors, orange. On. Okay, so I asked Mom to do the fire. There we go. I'm gonna use that one. And I'm just, I just gotta add some red to the fire. And maybe some yellow. I got snowflake and fire cut out. Now it's time to tape them. Well, look how it turned out. Oh, that is so good. So like I said before, it's been so rainy here, so the girls are doing some crafts, which is nice because they typically get along really well when they're doing crafts and stuff like that. But right now, we gotta clean up and go to... Gymnastics. Yep. So he's doing bath. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. <laughs> so usually if I cook and clean, Keith will do the bath. Also, Peyton is in the shower and she's singing. Listen to her. <laughs> what are you doing in here? Are you singing? <laughs> I caught you. <laughs> This is a puppy spot. Oh, that's she right. Said it's pregnant like me. Because <laughs> it has babies in its belly. I remember when we first got you the puppy surprise, you were See? so stoked about this it. This only one barks. The other ones don't bark? Oh, because that was the surprise one, right? Yeah. Because yeah. all the other ones are just like no stuffed dolls, and then you got a, a no one that barks. No There's three. This one's me. <laughs> There's like three different ones. So this one's me. 
This one's Presley. Okay, this one's Harper because it's okay. the baby. But this is called Puppy Surprise and I had this when I was a kid. We have stuffed animals there. We have stuffed animals here. We have stuffed animals everywhere. So. Oh, we got this one from the what? fair. That was our first fair um, oh, that's right. prize Look, ever. Guys. Let's see. This is a you ride? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> You're silly. Baby acid does stink. I just put deodorant. <laughs> I've been having some deodorant challenges today, guys. So I didn't realize I was recording, but you know what? We'll keep it in the vlog. Why not? So we are going to end today's vlog. Thank you so much for hanging out, mostly with Summer and the girls today. Uh, but I did want to share a comment of the day. And today's comment is from Dory's Stories. And it says, she is so organized. Oh, this is on Peyton's uh, school morning routine video. Uh, it says, she is so organized and independent. What a responsible kid. Having routines really help, uh, has helped your kids so much. And I totally agree. I think creating some kind of routine for your kids is super important. Ours is we try to be consistent with what time they go to bed. And I think it's made a big difference for our lives as far as like, yeah them just like expecting to go to bed at a certain time. Now they don't always go to bed <laughs> right away. They usually play for a long time, but that's part of one of the routines we have. And then we're trying to teach Peyton a little bit more of responsibility when it comes to like pets and our guinea pigs are our first pets. So it's a perfect chance to start teaching her some responsibility. But uh, thank you Dory Stories for the comment. And thank you guys for watching today's vlog. We really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to show some love in the comment box and leave by leaving us a big thumbs up. We'll see you guys in our next vlog. See ya. See ya.